So this is a really good question, who am I? And it goes back to self-examination. I'm the, am I the body or am I something that animates the body? And there's so many good descriptions about this throughout the wisdom literatures. They're commonsensical and it's something that we can observe for ourselves with a little bit of attention. For instance, you can look at your hand and see like, am I my hand? Do I exist beyond the hand? Why do I say my hand instead of I hand? Who is it that's the I? And this is an important starting point in Sambandha, said Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the golden monk. Find out who you are, actually. There's joyfulness in just knowing yourself, according to the Bhagavad Gita. When one comes to an actual awareness, not theoretical, but when, when one is able to see one's own self, then there's a verse that describes the feeling. Brahma Bhuta. So Brahma means, for lack of a better word in English, spiritual. And Brahma Bhuta means the spiritual awareness. So then there's three symptoms that one will experience. The first one is Prasanatma, which means natural joyfulness. Happy for no reason. We are joyful by nature. It's just when we get distracted by our life situation or start to degrade ourselves by thinking we're something we're not, uh, like I am this body, then we forget about our independent spiritual existence beyond the body. But when we're able to just touch the web of that, uh, our, our own uh, awareness, our own indestructible nature as spiritual beings, which is a different energy from matter. We are different from matter. Then there's prasanatma. We become joyful. And then nashochati nakanshati in Sanskrit means there's there's no hankering or lamentation. Hankering means I need something else to make me happy outside myself. And kanshati means there's lamentation that I didn't get what I wanted. So that's a constant state of the mind. It's hankering for something, and after I get it, then I'm disappointed because eventually, either initially or eventually, <laughs> it disappoints me because we're subtler than matter and we can't be satisfied by it. And finally, samak sarveshu bhute. So sama means equal and sarveshu bhute shu means that we, we're able to relate to people on a much different level than just I'm my body and you're your body. There's a lot of strife in that conception called the bodily conception where we notice the differences and then we're repulsed or attracted according to the, the particular bodies that people have.